Hey guys, welcome back to All and Law. This is quick pathology for USMLE step one. Let's talk about this. Today's topic of discussion is RPGN. That's a rapid, rapidly progressive. glomerulonephritis okay so we're gonna talk in two sense one is microscopic features and other is a microscopic features okay guys right so RPGN presents with you know it's presents with acute renal failure in few weeks and months okay so it's a such a what you call a dangerous condition so microscopic feature the kidneys are usually enlarged remember they are enlarged okay they are pale with a smooth pale with a smooth outer surface smooth outer surface okay and if you take a cut surface of this it shows a pale cortex and congested medulla pale cortex and congested medulla okay guys so these are the microscopic features of rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis and very important is a microscopic features what's a pathognomic the pathognomic is crescents okay crescents like this Okay, the crescents are formed. Right, guys? Right? So, these are the crescents. Okay? They are seen inside the Bowman's capsule. They are seen inside the Bowman's capsule. Remember, okay, the crescents are a collection of a pale staining polygonal cells formed from proliferation of parietal epithelial cells. Parietal epithelial cells. Okay, guys, right? So they are the proliferation of these cells that leads to the formation of crescents, and crescents are characteristics of RPGN. Okay. Then we have another feature, okay, the glomerular tubs frequently contain no, a substance known as fibrin thrombi. Glomerular tubs contain fibrin thrombi. Okay. And the tubular epithelial cells may show highlight droplets and tubular lumina may contain cast red blood cells and fibrin remember so halide deposits can be seen okay or halide droplets can be seen on a tubular epithelial cells okay remember there will be additions between the tufts and the capsule okay right and the interstitium is edematous and it can show what you call a fibrosis okay the interstitium is edematous interstitium is edematous and can show fibrosis right guys and the arteries of the arterioles may show associated changes of hypo hypertension right they show signs of hypertension so you can see the changes in that right guys so these are the causes these are the what you call a microscopic and the microscopic features of um, uh, what you call RPGN and in these you can also see leukocytic infiltration hypercellular glomerulus okay so these are the features of what you call uh, RPGN thank you so much for watching this video take care